Hello, and welcome to this video on offset voltages and switched musical offset voltages and where they're useful in a modular system. I'll be looking at that with Voltio here from Bafaco, so let's check out what's to come. This video is sponsored by Bafaco. Now there's lots of ways and lots of utilities for adding offsets to a signal. But Voltio here is a musical voltage source that can be used to calibrate modules. It even has two millimeter banana outputs there with a ground and an out that you can use with probes and test equipment. They'll be handy for building and calibrating modules. But the main Yoro rack outputs offer a sum input. So this can function as a precision adder. So you can add these voltages to audio or CV sources, or just generate these CVs and patch them out of the output there around your system. This works in a 0 to 10 volt range when the switch is down, or a plus and minus five volt range in one volt increments. Think of these as octaves for say the one volt per octave standard. And then we have 12 of a volt offsets with these musical notes here, you can see going from C round to B. Think of those as semitones. We can use this to offset audio and get creative, adding asymmetrical effects. We can use it to control things like FM ratios and keeping tunings locked in between analog FM sources. We can use it to offset modulators to get them into unipolar ranges or just offsetting sequences to create intervals and chord tones between oscillators too. So although this is really simple, there's a few patches to get to. They're on screen if you'd like to skip around. Let's dive in. We have a Cyrus here that doesn't have any octave shifting or semitone shifting. So if I play these over the top of the droning pony combo, and you can play these like they're part of a patch. shifting and semitone shifting, an oscillator that doesn't have an octave shift, and playing semitone patterns there on that switching. So here's a pair of pony oscillators being mixed together into a filter and into some effects. Have a sequence here, this green trace and green cables, that's coming into this pony oscillator, then into Voltio, that's adjusting the offset of that voltage, that sequence, and then coming up into the one new pony oscillator. If I bring this back down, here they are in unison. Which works really well. We can octave switch. And as we said in the previous patch, some oscillators have octave switches, these do. What's really nice is dialing in intervals. If we go, say, up an octave and major third. Up a fifth to G. Bring that back down an octave. So we're just a fifth up here, seven semitones. It just makes dialing in intervals between oscillators by offsetting sequences really easy. So here I'm using Voltio as a utility to add five volts to a signal to take it from a bipolar input up to a unipolar one that's suitable for modulating in this patch. So here's where this patch started. I have an oscillator going through a filter, playing a sequence, coming into a VCA, and I wanted to use this LFO, which is bipolar, it's from the Pony VCO here, to modulate and slowly fade up and down the notes in this sequence. And as VCAs don't typically respond to negative control signals, you'll notice everything under this green trace here, which is marked as zero volts on the scope, has no effect. So adding this bipolar LFO to Voltio and coming back in on the yellow trace, let's start to add offsets here going up to five volts. 
and you'll see that this yellow trace starts to offset to way above the blue trace there. And this now gives us a unipolar voltage. And it's a simple example, but there are many situations where just adding a voltage to something is useful and controlling VCAs from LFOs is one of them. So as well as offsetting CV signals to create modulation behaviors that work for your destinations you'd like to modulate, we can add an offset voltage to audio to create asymmetrical behaviors in things like wave folders, distortions, and various other wave shapers. My input wave is this green trace triangle from the Pony VCO that's coming into Voltio, currently set to zero. I'm not adding a negative or positive voltage here. And the yellow trace is a wave folder. As I sweep the folder, we get a really lovely wave fold, but this wave folder doesn't happen to have any kind of symmetry controls. So as I start to offset this audio, and this is the audio into the Voltio sum in, and then out is the blue trace, you'll see that offset from the green one here. Notice we start to get asymmetrical folding positive and negative peaks of this wave are folded differently. Now if I just crank my folding fully, quite a different sound. So let's set this in context of a patch quickly here. As well other utilities exist to mix and blend offsets into signals. Voltio here can be used for that as well with audio or CV. So another really simple use but handy one is to use offsets to control the range of LFOs. If you've got Volt Proctor on your LFOs, these volts here on Voltio will double and halve the frequency as we add them to the rate of the LFO. And that's super simple, but switched rate changes can be really handy and performative, as opposed to, say, a smooth voltage source used to control your LFO rates instead. So here's a patch with panning and effects, but we're using Voltio to control the FM ratios between two oscillators. Here's going up a third. And a really different tone. But although it's a gritty, thick analog FM tone, it's a stable musical one by switching to musical intervals. Going to a fifth. Say up a fifth and down an octave. Down another octave. And all I did here was tune these oscillators so that they're in tune, playing in unison, and then all these offsets change the FM. It's a really easy way to get musical switchable FM ratios with a pair of analog oscillators. So here's another simple idea and that is using Voltio as a switched voltage or switched gate source. By switching between 0 to 10 volts and minus 5 to plus 5 volts, in this middle position here for the octave switch or the 1 volt switch, we have 5 volts in the 0 to 10 mode. And we have 0 volts in the minus 5 to plus 5 mode. And it's a nice chunky switch to play. So I'm using it here to generate these green traces, these gates as I'm thinking of them, switching from 0 to 5 volts. That's coming in to open up an envelope. It's the blue trace that's opening a filter. And you could be way more creative than just opening and closing an envelope here. It's just another simple way to use these voltages and to switch between them. So which one of these Voltio patches was your favourite? You can support my work on patreon.com forward slash divkid. Link's all down below. Hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.